Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at Ubuntu's XFCE derivative known as Xbuntu or Zubuntu. Now this is based on the XFCE desktop which is intended for low specification or older hardware. Now the first thing you'll notice on the desktop are these four icons. The first three are just shortcuts to various directories and the fourth here allows you to install Zubuntu to your hard drive. Now at the moment I am running this from a USB flash drive and as you can see the response is pretty good. Now Zubuntu comes with two panels, this panel at the top of the screen and also there's a hidden panel if we put our mouse down towards the bottom of the screen known as the launcher which by default allows you to access various applications along the bottom. So if we just hover our mouse over we've got a minimize button for minimizing any windows, we've got the shortcut to the browser, we have the email client which is Thunderbird, we have a shortcut to the command line, we have a settings manager, we have an application finder, the standard Ubuntu software center which will start up and we have a shortcut to our word processor, our music browser and our image editor. Note that this is GIMP and that's quite impressive for such a low resource operating system. We've also got shortcut to our home directory and the trash can here. So I'm just going to quit out of GIMP. As you can see here this is the standard Ubuntu center that you would find in the GNOME release. So from here you can browse to whatever application you like and install it for instance. Okay. Let me just put that over there. Okay, and I'm just going to minimize that for the moment. So that's the launcher bar down the bottom of the screen here. Obviously you can extend that by adding your favorite applications to it so that it works very much like the favorites area in GNOME. So let's go up and look at the top panel of the screen here. From left to right, this icon in the corner is the XFCE logo. It's actually supposed to be a little mouse, although you can't really tell at this magnification. So if I click on that, I get access to the main menu. So I've got a couple of shortcuts there, and then off here we have all the main menu settings. So we've got some accessories, we've got some simple games, we've got our graphics programs, here we've got GIMP. Um, we've got our internet applications such as Firefox, we've got Pigeon for chat and we've got Thunderbird for mail. Um, under multimedia we've got our music browser and um, we've got our CD burner. Under office we've got our word processor and we've got our PDF viewer and our spreadsheet. Uh, also here the calendar. Uh, we've got some system functions down here and shortcut to our software center, help library, etc. and our log off menu. This middle part of the screen here is where our minimized icons go. So here's our software center that we used earlier and here's my terminal window that I'm running and record my desktop in. On the right hand side of the screen we have the system tray. First thing we've got on here as I'm running on a laptop is our power menu. So if I just hover my mouse over that it should tell me what my battery state is and if I right click here I have various power options that I can invoke. Next we have our communication menu. This is very similar to the same menu in Ubuntu GNOME. So here we can access our um, chat. We can set our chat status here or we can go into our email. Here we have our current system date and time and if we double click on this we get a calendar window which for Zubuntu is Orage. Okay, and if you click on this we can then set appointments for certain times, certain days so that we don't miss things. These next two icons are the workspace switches, so by default here is our workspace 1 and if I click on this here is my workspace 2. So you can see over here I've got two windows in workspace 2 and one in workspace 1. Finally we have the logout menu here and I can lock my screen, suspend it, hibernate to disk, reboot the machine, shut down, log out, etc. Uh, if I right click the mouse over any area of the desktop I get this context menu so I can do things like open a folder, create a new folder uh, and change the desktop properties. So let's take a quick look at the file manager. So the default file manager in XFCE is Thunar. Obviously I can select any item by clicking on it. 
If I right click I get various options where I can cut, paste, delete, etc. For a directory I can navigate down into it by double clicking on it for instance. And if I have a certain file that's runnable, if I double click it, it will actually run it and display it. So here is a video I made earlier. If I want to create a shortcut on the screen, I can drag any file onto the screen and drop it. Obviously if I right click that icon, I can then do things like to cut, paste it, delete it, rename it, etc. And that's the XFCE desktop in Zubuntu. Thanks for watching.